Hey, what's going on you guys? Welcome back to the channel. I'm gonna do something a little different today. As you can see, my ranking has dropped a bit. 2179. So definitely took some hits yesterday. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it was one of those days. But staying positive as always. And we're gonna change up the lead for the first time. You know how much I love Articuno a lot. I'm gonna change him up for uh, a low and muck this time because I keep on running into those Cresselia leads and the rest of my team will remain the same Charizard and Shift Tree. So let's see how we, how we do it, you know? I played with a low and muck a lot uh, before, so I'm pretty familiar with its capabilities. And we're playing a rank nine, wow. So a rank nine that has tumbled a lot. And we get Shift Tree, which is, which is a good lead for us because we're gonna do pretty well against um, all of its attack, all of the charge moves, and I'm just gonna let him take it. So, see, it might be a Leaf Blade, yeah. So that, that's how much damage it does. So we can just keep on taking those. I'm going straight Gunk Shot because um, one Gunk Shot should take it out, and if he doesn't shield, um, yeah, but if he does, which, let's see if he does, who knows. We're gonna start mirroring shields if he does at some point. Um, as he's already gone to two, two charge moves. And yeah, we just took it out like that, boom. And here comes the shift tree, which we don't mind. Let's go ahead and do some damage to it. He doesn't know I have my own, oh, did I say shift tree? I meant Swampert. He doesn't know I have my own shift tree in the back. So I'm hoping he doesn't farm me down, which I, I don't think he can because I have another Dog Pulse on the horizon. I'm going to go ahead and let him take him take me out right here. Come with Shift Tree pretty safe and securely. So at this point, neither one of us have used a shield yet. And I'm going to let this one go. I'm pretty sure he's used up all his energy at this point, so I could farm a little, and I think I will. Just not too much. Ooh, and that's what I meant by too much. I, he still won't take me out anyways. So I actually could farm some more now. Um, I don't have too much health for the next Pokemon. But it wouldn't matter because it, he is down to his last Pokemon after this. But let's see if he shields. We'll start mirroring shields if he does. Ooh, that was very, very good swap. I totally did not even see that. So let's see how we do in this matchup now. So he has all those shields, and so do I. So I'm going to let the first Moonblast hit me because it's not going to be effective. And at some point, one of us is going to have to use a shield, so let's hope it's right here. Here we go. Shield, please. Nope. Is he not saving it for Swampert, is he? Okay, this one, he, I'm, I'm hoping he shields. I start getting some of these shields off of him. There he goes. All right. I just got to get the shift tree back in. Um, I will shield this at this point. I want to save one for shift tree because I think Swampert has energy. And I'm going to throw the Dragon Claw right now. And it, he switched, swash, uh, excuse me, he switched to the Swampert. This time I saw it. It's a good swap. But I think this, ooh, interesting. Now I'm going to switch back into my shift tree and get off this leaf blade perfectly in time. Before he can get to a hydro cannon, this should take him out. So I still have one more shield left and I'm going to go ahead and use it here because I know I can just uh, get off this foul play and take him out. And his uh, fast moves are resisted. Another perk of having Shift Tree on, on the squad. So, changing up the lead, it helped. It's, I actually have not faced a Shift Tree, I don't think, in the Ultra League until just now. So, I always kind of pride myself as having the only one in the entire league. But there we go, we saw another one, and we actually won lead there and was able to take out Cresselia in the back, which was really huge. Him saving all those shields. Um, was pretty wise in a way, but at the same time, it kind of backfired, I think. I, I, I feel like he would have uh, fared better, maybe um, 
using them more on uh, Cresselia. I think he used one on Swampert, which uh, wasn't entirely helpful. So we get Scizor here, which is uh, a pretty good lead, I think. Let's see. Polyrath. Ooh, switched into the wrong guy. <laughs> oh, did I? Oh, he, this is a bubble Polyrath. Hmm. Ice Beam will still hurt, though. Or Ice Punch, excuse me. Yeah, so let's see. Our Leaf Blades will return the favor if he doesn't shield it. Um, I forget how quickly Ice Punches uh, accumulate, though. If I can... Ooh, I think he might have ran into some lag there. Um, so it finally goes the other way for me. Um, for once, <laughs> if you guys have checked out my other video, he's going to let the Polyrath just go down pretty easily. No fight. And he has another fighter in the back. Wow. So this is fine for us because Charizard will resist the fighting moves, but he won't resist the, the rock throws. And I don't think Machamp... I hope he does not have enough energy for that rock slide, excuse me. And he does. So a mistake on my end. I'll take full responsibility for that. <laughs> the double, um, the double fighters really threw me off there. So I don't think I was prepared for that. I'm not entirely sure why I, uh, especially with Scizor as the lead. Wow, I really just messed that up, didn't I? <laughs> oh well, yeah, yeah. You know, you're gonna bound to uh, make mistakes every once in a while. I, for some reason, I just blanked on the, on the. Uh, the lead Pokemon for a second. I think the double fighters really just threw me off. I had not seen that strategy once. And now that my opponent sees all the Pokemon, I think he's probably wondering what's going on. Why did he switch into uh, uh, Charizard or, or have Charizard come in? I'm gonna let this one go. Um, not like it really, really matter at this point. I'll just play it out a little bit. Yeah, just a big mistake on my part. See, the thing about me is that even with mistakes, I'll still post it. Just to show you guys um, ways you can learn this game. Because I pretty much just take uh, one video a day if I can. So if I go 0 and 5, I'll post it. If I go 5 and 0, I'll post it. And any mistakes or <laughs> like that you see right there, I'll still post. Yeah, so let's see if we can rebound from that. So that's an interesting strategy. Tip my cap off to my opponent. Definitely would have played it differently if I can uh, turn back time. Um, yeah, having Sh Muck and Shift Tree would have been tough anyways for a double fighter because they resist the dark attacks. And uh, ooh, looks like we got an error there. That's never a good sign because I always assume that when we get booted out, one of us probably had too much lag on one of our sides so they just made the game void <laughs> so hopefully it wasn't my end so we get s cavalier here which uh it's not good i don't think i'm gonna actually switch into charizard and hope that my opponent is slow and they are not that slow <laughs> and let's see and this gyarados has um a water fast move which is very interesting I really hope they don't shield this blast burn, so at least I can make it interesting. I would love to get to that charge move, but couldn't. So at this point, I'm wondering what he has. Um, I'm going to build up some energy for this muck. And hope that he doesn't have enough energy for anything but a crunch. <laughs> it was a hydro pump. Ooh. Oh my gosh, I did not know it did that much damage. Wow, so I'm gonna have to throw this Dark Pulse now. It's now or never. And I'm gonna have to leave Shift Tree on a two on one matchup, which is uh, gonna be tough for him, but let's see what he can do. So we're gonna have to go for foul plays. And he swaps out when he didn't. Oh my gosh, the strategies of my opponents today. I have not. So we, we saw the double fighters, and now we see the double steel slash. Uh, bug. Uh, really wish I uh, could have aligned Charizard with one of these guys at least. <laughs> uh, gosh. So we're running to some really funky teams. 
let's see. Yeah, we got both shields off of them, but at this point it doesn't matter. They'll just farm us down. So another good game. Um, not much we can do there. We couldn't leave Muck in there against S Cavalier because S Cavalier most likely have drill run. Um, so I had to get out of there. Um, yeah, and having Scizor and S Cavalier really meant that Shift Tree wouldn't be able to do much in this game. So just too much to overcome. This, however, is a better lead for us. Because we will be able to get to these dark pulses. Just want to wait for the swap. I just feel like my opponents have been so good at swapping lately. And he seemed like he was kind of not using his fast moves that um, quickly. It almost seemed like there was like a. Like he was doing a slow motion, like waiting to swap out. So I'm going to let one come in. The side strike. Yeah, not, not, not very effective because of the dark typing. I'm going to farm up just a little bit because I am resisting the fast move. Uh, let's see if he shields here. He does, which is fine with me. He is now, I might even be able to farm him, I wonder. Hmm. Don't know if I'm brave enough. I don't know if Psy Strike could finish me off in this range either. So, hmm, let's see how much it really does. I'd like to try to measure. Yeah, it's not going to be able to take out me too I don't think so I'm just gonna go for it I built up extra energy for the next guy I think I might be just one snarl away from another dark pulse or maybe two which is uh, fine with me as well so cloister here cloister is a very interesting Pokemon and it could be trouble for me um, I think I'm gonna come with Charizard next but let's see so we get to another Dark Pulse, thankfully, which will be huge because now we're going to pressure shields. And we let Scorchster go, I am totally content with that as well. <laughs> but I don't think he will because of all the stored energy. Um, so at this point, Scorchster is pretty low. I'm going to come in with Charizard. And I think the first attack will probably be um, Icy Wind. So I'm going to let that come in. Oh my gosh. My opponents today have just been on point, <laughs> to say the least. So he has no more shields. And I believe these leaf blades hopefully are neutral because of the water ice typing. Oh, it's actually uh, super effective. So, I to, so I'm wondering if I just made a big mistake then. <laughs> and of course that shield now is just staring at me. <laughs> the one I should have used on Charizard. Wonder, looking back, I wonder if I should have uh, definitely come in with uh, with with uh, Shift Tree to match up against the Cloister. Yeah, huh? So, oh well, you know we tried but we failed. I don't think uh, we're losing because of Muck. I think we're losing because of me. <laughs> so we're trying to just trying to change our luck here and play a little bit better. Um, see who we have in this fifth game Lapras so I'm not too familiar with this uh, matchup who comes out on top I hope I can get to the dark pulse first then that might give me some idea um, let's see so Lapras has access to surf and ice beam and he's building up extra energy at this point so I'm trying to think here. I'm going to shield the first one because I've been so bad at... <laughs> Good. That actually is the one that uses more energy. I've been just so bad at uh, guessing what my opponents are going to do in this set. <laughs> and that's actually a very good trait to have, uh, being able to read your opponent's minds. Um, let's see. Ooh, a charge move coming here. I'm going to have to let this one go. I can't, can't use two shields on, on Muck. So the Surf will do pretty much the same damage as the Dark Pulse. I just don't know how much energy he has. So I'm going to throw this Dark Pulse now. Which I don't even know if it will finish it off. Um, and it doesn't. Which is not good. Because now at this point he could take me out and win lead. And trying to think. I think I'm going to have to just let him go. 
and come in with uh, Charizard. Hope that Lapras can't get to another surf in time, and I can just farm, 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 farm. That's the name of the game. All right, let's see. It's always better when they take their time <laughs> before coming in with someone. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and throw the blast burn now. We can't have Shift Tree align with Lugia because. Shift Tree, I believe, can't handle flying attacks. So we're gonna have to invest our shield in Charizard here. And let's go ahead and shield this up. He still has a shield on his end. Um, I wonder if he's willing to let, uh, let it go down so easily though. Let's go ahead and build the Dragon Claw now. And pray that we can take it out. <laughs> I really don't want to see a shield, but he does shield. So let's see what this, how much attack uh, damage this attack does right here. We're hanging tough, but sky attack coming through doesn't take us out. But ooh, we get to the dragon claw, which is huge. Finally, we we come in clutch. We think we don't know yet. Is the last Pokemon is just gonna? Oh, we don't even take it out. Gosh. So, oh, we actually are super effective against, of course, the Psychic Typing, and of course they have a a Steel Fighter in the back, which pretty much means good game for us. <laughs> the Fighters today, wow. And this team is pretty spicy too. What was it, Lapras, Lugia, and Cobalion? Um, so we're going to throw as many of these Leaf Blades as possible, but I think uh, he has multiple attacks that can uh, take us out. Sacred Sword, um, i trying to remember, I just don't see many Cobalions. Um, but we're gonna go down once again. So unfortunate for us, we're gonna go one and four in this set, which is the worst set we've done on this channel. But these are all learning experiences, I think. Um, we saw a lot of new Pokemon that we usually don't see, so we got some insight. And we're just gonna have, keep keep battling, you know. Stay stay in there, hang tough. Um, everything's a learning experience. So, if you guys want to see how much this drops my rank, twenty one forty five. So we've we tumbled a little bit. I think when I started this channel, we were probably at twenty two seventy. So, I've seen multiple people tumble actually. A lot of like Poke AK, which is a pretty big uh, YouTuber, he's dropped like four hundred points, and we saw that rank nine player. So a lot of people are just on the bad side of the alg algorithm right now. Some people are experiencing severe lag, but we're not going to make any excuses. Um, we definitely could have played better that that time. So anyways, thank you for watching, you guys. Hope you guys uh, keep watching. And please leave a like, comment, or subscribe. And I'll talk to you next time. Have a good day.